Are you here for new Wake Forest coach Steve Forbes starting a beef with Kentucky? I think we can all agree the breakout coaching star of the pandemic has been Steve Forbes. First, he gives you this uh, sort of soft, porny feel, amateur acting video here by way of introduction. Let's check in here with Steve Forbes, how we were introduced to him and how he was introduced to us at Wake Forest. Hey coach, here we go. Let's talk to the president. I have approval from the compensation committee of the board of trustees to make this offer to you. I right, got two questions. Are our players gonna graduate? Yes, we are. Are we gonna put some more of those up? That's what we came here to do. Good answers. Here's your whistle. Ladies and gentlemen, the head coach of the Wake Forest Demon Deacons, Steve Forbes. Let's go, Deacon Nation! Let's get this done! Let's go! One of the last things I'm ever asking myself about a college coach is do his players graduate? But that's where Forbes is hanging his hat right now and Wake Forest is telling you our degree is more prestigious than Kentucky's degree. Forbes is saying and trying to keep a player in school to help him that he doesn't like the one and done way of Kentucky. I don't care whether Kentucky's players graduate. I understand trying to education shame someone because you want your values to be something that recruits want and i'm okay with him doing this even though i'm with kentucky i ride with kentucky i think that all of those players if they're there to get a basketball uh, education that's what they get look if you're participating in a ruse as anybody in college sports is which is that the academics matter just as much as the athletics then you have to make the first question of your intro video are our kids going to graduate and you have to do things like education shame kentucky because in the rankings for uh for academics that's one of the only places you're going to come out on top i understand where it all comes from what i don't understand a number of things Dan using the word porny on this show and thinking that we'd all be okay with it. Uh, why wear the masks if you're going to take it off and spike it? By taking it off and spiking it, are you implying that you are beating coronavirus or basketball opponents? Uh, how about the fact that those masks look like they don't cover their faces? They look like they're actually not even adequate masks. Why did he say we? We are going to graduate. Are you going to graduate, coach? Are you taking classes? I have very many questions, uh, but none of them pertain to this Kentucky academic story. I just want to talk about that video forever. All right. I enjoyed, by the way, the list of things at the end. I found that to be compelling. But all your education shaming of Kentucky arguments that the two of you are making, I think you're both dead wrong, right? And I think that part of why you're dead wrong is I'm assuming y'all don't really know that much about Wake Forest, right? Like Wake Forest is something like the second smallest school in Division I, yet somehow plays in the ACC. Their selling point for all their recruits is you can get a degree from Wake Forest. Like that's what they're always pushing at every turn. There are some programs that are a little different than the others when it comes to this, and they are definitely guilty of a lot of the exploitation that everybody else is. But their way they carry their academics is a bit more in line with like Notre Dame football, right? They are playing a strong academic game, and what else do they have to offer you other than once you are done, you'll have a degree from Wake Forest. Now, this kid's star that we're talking about here, he played three years at Wake Forest. He's now going to Kentucky for a fourth which is to say he is probably going to go pro in something else. If you are going to go pro in something else, the Wake Forest degree is shinier than the Kentucky degree is. There's nobody that can honestly deny that. And if I'm that star kid, I probably need to look at this like I'm going to be applying for jobs rather than showing up for tryouts. I don't think Forbes is wrong about this one. That is something that that young man needs to think about. Okay, but if you're that kid and that's what you need to think about, but keep in mind his age and his experience and you see that video of the new coach, do you stay? <laughs> oh, hey, don't get me wrong. I understand why he would go to Kentucky, right? I'm not saying okay. that he's making the wrong decision per se. I'm just saying Forbes is not nearly as much shame in Kentucky as he is selling the single most attractive thing that Wake Forest has to sell recruits, which is a degree from Wake Forest.